Hello book lovers, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new over here, this is me Yamini and on this channel we talk majorly about books and coffee. Hello everyone, today we are going book shopping and let me just show you where we are. Now quickly talking about the reading updates for this week, the first prompt that I covered over here was a warm classic for which I decided to read A Midsummer's Night Dream by William Shakespeare. This came up because I was recently watching one of my favourite K-dramas which is The Hires and there this book has been mentioned a lot. Now though the context and the writing of this book is obviously very good but uh, sadly I did not like it very much. It was pretty much an average read for me. I have surely read much better Shakespearean dramas. The next prompt that I decided to cover was a mysterious magic prompt for which I decided to read The Daughter of the Moon Goddess by the author Siu Lin Tan. I am pretty sure I pronounced that wrong so apologies for that. Now the blurb of this book is so apt and so beautiful that I would like to read aloud a quick few paragraph from it for you guys. Growing up on the moon, Shingen is accustomed to a solitude, unaware that she has been hidden from the feared celestial emperor who exiled her mother for stealing her elixir of immortality. But when Shingen's magic flare and her existence is discovered, she is forced to flee her home, leaving her mother behind. Alone, powerless and afraid, she makes her way to the celestial kingdom, a land of wonder and secrets. Distinguishing her identity, she seizes an opportunity to learn alongside the emperor's son, mastering archery and magic, <laughs> even as passions of flame between the prince and her started to arise. Now, the book is undoubtedly great speaking in terms of the characters, the plots and especially the whole mythology inspired book idea and bonus to that, we also have dragons in the house. Now, anyone who knows me, knows that uh, dragons would be a true instigator for me for any books or series. I love them so much that I bought my own mini dragon as you can see over here to guard my personal treasures of my books. And now on the screen you can see the recent updates on the autumn TBR prompt that we have made so far. 
now moving ahead though i have not been able to cover all the prompts so far i do have a couple of more books that i would like to share with you all so i also read we have always lived here by shelly jackson this is however a mystery kind of a book but it definitely gave me horror gothic and creepy vibes now the book has also been made into a movie but i haven't watched it yet so let's see now the blurb on goodreads is practically of no use so i'll just give you my own extract of the story so honestly speaking this was a cover pick for me and the cover of the book is pretty much creepy the family of blackwoods have always lived in the mansion now because of a recent accident or an attempt to murder just three of them are now remaining an old man a coming of age daughter who is surely to be wed and a younger sibling now hated by most of the people in their village for their secluded lifestyle and especially the wealth and the money that they have they live in their world devoid of all the outside world's minglings but one day a cousin brother arrives and everything is disturbed since then now the writing in this book is captivating enough to get the characters get on your nerve basically while reading this book and though i was reading it with a scowl on my face half of the time the patience was worded well by the ending itself and the final book that i read was last of the talents by sophie kim it's another fantasy book consisting of magical realms elements in it it's about a girl who has lost everything and each of her family member all the last gangs of talents and now she is forced to be a thief and a warrior for her survival but the latest theft of a tapestry has insinuated the wrath of an immortal and now the only thing she can do to survive is to either kill the immortal first or die herself instead now as i started this book i predicted two things one this would be more of a enemies to lovers site which is not explained in the blurb let me just say and the second thing i could clearly see the overall plot being laid out but it's not that the whole predictability game actually spoiled the book for me it was like when we did in the electronics lab we used to take a pcb plate and jot down the elements dot together because you knew what would come out of it and you would start doing it similarly i was just rooting for those elements to fall in place and see the whole picture getting sorted back together that's how this book felt while reading it and so this was a little predictable but a enjoyable read for me and now over here i'll give you a quick visibility of the tbr progress that i've made so far for my monthly reads and with that i would like to take my leave from you guys and catch up with you all next week until then keep your coffees warm and your tbrs long goodbye